from the MGM Grand Hotel in Las Vegas, extracting the signal from the noise. It's the Cube covering Splunk.com 2015. Brought to you by Splunk. Now, here are your hosts, John Furrier and George Gilman. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live in Las Vegas for Splunks.com for a special presentation for theCUBE. This is SiliconANGLE's flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm joined by coach George Gilbert, our Wikibon research, big data analyst covering the space. And our next guest is Raghu Nembar, who's a distinguished engineer, chief architect of the big data and analysis, analytics covering Cisco. I mean, obviously they're in big data. Welcome back to theCUBE. Good to see you again. Yeah, good, good to see you. I think uh, uh, this is the third time I'm in the Cube. Really excited to be here at uh, you know, Splunk in uh, Las Vegas. We love having you on, one, because you get to share the, some really good data with us on what's going on, but also on the engineering side, mm -hmm. there's a lot of folks out there right now re-architecting their networks. Mm -hmm. They're re-architecting this full stack of what DevOps is, big data, analytics, the whole dream of the modern shift to this new modern era. So, you know, it's exciting, right? But yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you look at the, the UCS portfolio, right, I mean, we talked about this one in the past interviews, you know, we created the, the portfolio for a new generation of applications. Uh, uh, so right now, um, you know, uh, we have uh, UCS Blade Systems, which is uh, the most popular for enterprise applications. Then uh, last year, um, as part of our UCS 2.0 launch, we have announced uh, two products. Uh, one is a uh, UCS M series for high compute density applications, and also for test and development applications. UCS M series in um, Two RU space, we can pack 16 servers. In a two RU? Two RU, yeah, 16 servers. Uh, and uh, and uh, so we have a unique technology called uh, single link in this architecture. So all the servers share the same set of components, the storage and the network. When you say, just to be techie for a minute, when you say 16 servers, I, I assume you mean 16 sockets. No, I'm talking about the 16 independent servers. As in like 16 some of which are do so dual Blade, socket? Right? Uh, so, so we have the option of single socket as well as dual socket. Okay? So it could be... A server means a server has its own operating system instance. So it could be 32 sockets no, if you chose. No, actually it is 16 one socket okay. or four two socket. Okay. And okay. uh, it is the M series. Um, and another platform I want to uh, uh, highlight is uh, the C uh, 3, 3000 series. So this is a dense uh, storage platform. Okay, in 4RU space, you have the option of one compute blade or two compute blades, both are two, two CPU, and uh, up to 60 large form factor disk drives. Okay, when you talk about 60 large form factor disk drives, with eight terabyte storage capacity, you're talking about 480 terabyte of storage capacity in 4RU. Put 10 of them in on a 40D rack, now you're talking about close to uh, five petabyte of storage capacity. So on a platform perspective, we are ready for uh, today's big data and tomorrow's uh, you know, big data. So I want to get into the big data. Certainly we'll see you guys next week in Big Data NYC event mm -hmm. that's happening and then of course Strata Hadoop World going on as well. Um, but I want to talk about this event here for the moment, for a moment, mm -hmm. second. You guys had a benchmark up on stage, so I met Kartik and the team. Mm -hmm. um, we had a customer on earlier here on theCUBE that was just like blown away by the performance. And they were like, speed always wins. Customers love speed. Can't go wrong with making things go faster. Talk about that benchmark and what does sure. it mean for Cisco customers? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we have been working with Splunk for two years. Okay, this is very strategic partnership. partnership. And we have, we have announced a set of reference architectures uh, and performance benchmarks uh, last year. Okay, now, um, I mean, I'm sure like you have heard of the keynote, the, 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 the major announcement here is uh, Splunk 6.3, okay? When you do a performance comparison 6.2, the previous version uh, versus 6.3, on a, like a generic platform, I believe they have seen like 2x performance improvement. But on Cisco UCS, we have seen four times performance improvement for indexing and about six times performance in improvement for searching. Significantly uh, better than previous generation of uh, you know uh, software. We have seen this kind of uh, performance improvement with the uh, hardware innovations, but uh, but from uh, from a software innovation, it is pretty exciting. So now uh, you know, uh, so you'll be able to uh, 
uh, uh, uh, provide you know four times more uh, processing power in a box, right? I mean, typically what we have done to get more more performance is like scale out. We definitely continue to support scale out. It is going to be a big part of the portfolio. But here the ability to pack more processing on a server basis. So I got to ask you about the Cisco value proposition for you. We were Splunk for two years. Mm -hmm. Great endorsement for Splunk to have a partnership with Cisco mm -hmm. and vice versa. Splunk is no longer a startup anymore. They're a public yeah. company. They're one of the big guys mm -hmm. at the table within IT. Cisco install base is huge with enterprise. So you guys are the gold standard for routing and mm -hmm. networking gears now with UCS um, in the data center. is really unifying everything. Yeah, absolutely. And, and so, so what does that mean from a Splunk standpoint? What is Splunk doing today to give your customers new insights and value, and what new value is being created on top of that? Sure, I mean, you know, as you said, like Splunk has 10,000 new customers. If you look at the UCS, so we have about 50,000 new customers, you know, uh, uh, since we introduced the product in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, in five years. Okay, um, uh, the, what, what Splunk customers get from Cisco? I mean, the, the, the main uh, 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 differentiation that they get from Cisco is the UCS differentiation. The ability to provision servers, okay, uh, manage and monitor servers, and of course, high, high performance that we have demonstrated through these benchmarks. And in addition to that, we have created the Cisco validated design. We call it CVD in short form. This is basically an end-to-end -end deployment guide for our customers to deploy Splunk on UCS. Uh, you know, I mean, if the guidelines and the CVD is followed, we guarantee out-of-the-box performance. And also, like, uh, you know, it's very prescriptive, 300, 400 page document, there's all the information that you need, uh, including how to scale from, uh, you know, um, uh, a small configuration to very large configuration. And in addition to that, we have highlighted one more important thing uh, for uh, data lifecycle management. Okay, you have your uh, uh, hot and warm data on, uh, on, on one tier, and, and, and m most of the processing is going to happen over there, but you have to, uh, you know, uh, move the data to a uh, less expensive tier as the data get uh, uh, older, right? So we have this uh, C3000 uh, based platform, ideally built for uh, that. So here it's performance, here it is capacity or, or, or dollar per terabyte. This aspect is also articulated in, uh, in, uh, in our Cisco validated design. So I'm going to ask you, from a big data standpoint, we've always, this is our fourth year mm -hmm. covering Splunk.conference, and there's been a progression every year, but it's always been, at the heart of it, a big data mm -hmm. opportunity, but yet it's driven out of the geeks in IT, mm -hmm. which you guys live in that world as well, one part of your business, and growing now to go to the edge of the network with Cisco. As you guys look at UCS, unified is a mm -hmm. word, that Pat Kelsinger at, at VMware used in his keynote, he's calling it unified hybrid cloud, which is interesting because Jim McHugh was on our crowd chat mm -hmm. saying, hey, we have been we love this word unified. So what does that mean to you? What does unified mean to you from a customer standpoint as they look at the picture in mm -hmm. context to the big data opportunity? Because you've got Internet of Things, mm -hmm. Internet of Everything from Cisco standpoint, but just basic IT blocking and tackling. There's, like, there's now the confluence of those two things coming together. Uh, so, uh, so unified, I think uh, we are, uh, there are two, two unifications here, okay? The, the U in UCS, Unified Computing System. Uh, that U basically unifies uh, uh, compute, storage, compute, connectivity, and storage access through our unified fabric technology and, uh, and, uh, and the ability to manage uh, the entire uh, 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 application cluster from a compute, storage, and connectivity perspective. Uh, you know, IoT is the next uh, big thing. We have been in this space uh, for uh, for uh, uh, for a long time. Even though it is not called IoT, uh, we just started calling. Well, Cisco had that human network advertising. Yeah. I mean, you guys yeah. know the edge of the network. It's right, been there right. forever. The whole idea is, you know, um, uh, connected devices and is a device, IP address. I know. Yeah, <laughs> like me. I mean, you know, if you look at today, most of the analytics are happening at the core. I would say like 80% of the yeah. analytics are happening at the core. But, but that's got to change for, absolutely. for IoT. Absolutely, I mean, I, 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 you know, if, you, if, if, if you look at five years from now, not even five years, three, three years from now, I would say like 50% of the analytics are going to happen at the edge. Because the applications are, 
applications are demanding um, SLAs and response time, you know, right when the data is produced. I mean, sending the data yeah. on the core and running analytics, there is a latency. And right? the compute that is increasing at the edge too, from whether you look at your iPhone or device, yeah. you can put compute or move compute there, right? So, yeah. so we have a set of products that is already there and we'll have more innovations like uh, intelligent routers and uh, devices spe specifically built for uh, edge analytics. What is the number one thing? I want to get your take on regular on this. As an engineer, why has UCS been so successful? I mean, I remember when you guys launched UCS, a lot of the naysayers, we, again, we do the cube at IBM, HP, Dell, you, all the events we do these events. You guys had a lot of people coming out of the woodwork and say, oh, UCS is never going to work. IDC had market share numbers that were sl slicing and dicing. Everyone's jockeying for we're winning in service. What has been the reason for the success of UCS? There are two things. One is the innovations in UCS, okay? Unification of uh, uh, the fabric. Uh, 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 that brings simplicity and uh, significantly lower cost. Second thing is uh, the manageability and monitoring. Again, the UCS the manager is bringing on the, bringing on the table, significantly re reducing the OPEX, okay? I mean, uh, the second thing is uh, the performance. So we have consistently demonstrated uh, with industry standard benchmark, you know, Cisco is, uh, you know, uh, number one in every category that you can think of. This is like uh, beating our, comp I have great respect for our competition, but the competition that has been in the business for uh, forever, right? Uh, I mean, these are the two main things, uh, you know, that is, uh, um, uh, 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 that has helped UCS to grow into a $3.5 billion business uh, in five years. But there's, I mean, there's got to be something, some special sauce that was unusual because, like, Oracle, I'm closer to their mm -hmm. engineered appliances, and you know they they use InfiniBand. It's not too proprietary. I mean, they've baked a SAN and a and a database cluster together, but you guys put this you know sort of special fabric that's mm -hmm. UCS, you know Cisco specific, and Oracle's really struggled with Exadata and their whole engineered appliance business. They've struggled? Yeah, Sorry. they have. <laughs> no. you, you wouldn't know it from I their advertising. Know, I, mean, I, I've seen the numbers. I've, I've seen the numbers. Well, and I, I challenge uh, that. I think, okay. okay, go ahead, continue. Go ahead. So, uh, why, if why, you look at the yeah. fundamental networking in Oracle Exadata, or like any uh, traditional platform, yeah. uh, you have uh, at least three types of connectivities. You need uh, typically one gig connectivity for management, managing all your servers, you know. Second is uh, you need uh, like a 10 gig or 40 gig connectivity for your cluster to connect, nodes to talk to each other. Third one is uh, uh, storage access. If you want to bring in data from external uh, storage. So you're talking about uh, three different type of cards, three different uh, type of uh, uh, controllers, and three different type of switches. Wow. In Cisco, we unified everything into one uh, uh, one uh, 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 unified fabric, one card, one set of wires, okay, and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, and unified fabric suits. Right, give us some uh, an insight into what the architecture is for the for the customers out there with Splunk and Cisco, because obviously you can help Splunk sure. with your fifty thousand customers. Mm -hmm. They have ten thousand, but also they help you because they offer a great value proposition to your customers. But what does that architecture look like? What is the, in the mind of the IT architect and or potentially software or DevOps environment, mm -hmm. which is more IT ops sure. from this standpoint, from this vector, what does that architecture look like? Yeah. So, so what we have done is, uh, we worked closely with the Splunk engineering team to create a set of reference architectures. The reference architectures are uh, based on uh, our experience and experience uh, from our Splunk engineers and also like feedback that we got from our uh, uh, partners and customers. So we created uh, two set of architectures. One is uh, for performance optimized uh, uh, with uh, our C220 servers. Uh, so basically that platform can support uh, 250 uh, gigabytes of uh, uh, indexing capacity per day with a uh, one month retention. That is performance. And we have also created a, a capacity optimized uh, uh, SKU for uh, where data retention is uh, critical. It's based on our C240 uh, uh, server, uh, uh, 80 uh, gigabytes uh, uh, per second indexing capacity per day with a one year retention. Okay, and uh, these two um, configurations can be deployed as a single server or a like a, like a cluster of servers. 
uh, as uh, the workload demands. We well, really appreciate you coming on theCUBE, sharing your insight. Now we're going to probably talk to you guys next week next at Big week? Data yeah. NYC, but I also got to say that Cisco is not only innovating, bringing the content here on theCUBE and in our kind of open source framework that we call theCUBE, but they bring in now goodies. So we have all kinds of good gifts here. So the new standard is come on theCUBE and get the Cisco hat, get the giveaway here. I got the Cisco pen, the Cisco tchotchke here for my iPhone, but also the special SanDisk wireless Thanks to Renee Yao for giving the gifts, connecting us all together uh, from smart cities to UCS, from the data center. You guys are redefining the edge of the network. Um, Absolutely. So, give me the final word. Share with the folks out there, what is the new mojo for Cisco? What is the, what is the new Cisco all about now in this new, new modern so, infrastructure? So, I mean, uh, you know, Cisco is all about the connecting uh, people. Okay, and, uh, and uh, we want to power the next generation of enterprise applications, cloud, and Internet of Things. Awesome, okay. Rick, thanks so much for sharing your insight. This is theCUBE, day one coverage live here at Splunk.conference. I'm John Furrier, George Gilbert here with Cisco in theCUBE, breaking it down from the distinguished engineer himself, Raghu. We'll be back with more live coverage after this short break.